one bites the dust. Uh oh. You're not dead? Uh oh. This may be a problem. I don't want to set the world on fire. Ah, welcome back. Where, when last we uh, were with George, he was looting a super duper mat, and well, some friends of the uh, raiders came back. He's laid some mines and booted up the local Patrekton to uh, try and deal with them. And it sounded like that didn't really go very well. So, yeah, we're having a little sneak back out. That's what we're doing. Well... It didn't set the mines off anyway. Anybody else? No? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, plenty. Anybody else? There's one over here, wasn't there? Let me out. I'll be your friend. Sharp wanted some mines over here, or have they been taken care of? Yes, they have. Let's put some more down for people to play with. Okay, maybe not. Nope. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. Right. There is a way out of this. I haven't figured it out yet though. But it involves me leaving with all the loot and my life. You better hope I don't shoot you. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Plenty of mines there for you to walk over. You're still alive. Hmm. Great. Thanks for that. Don't have to worry about all your mates turning up now. And I've no mines left. More for me to repair.
fine. This does a bit more damage. Let's see if they all want to play with this one. Great, missed. And again. Get in here before they shoot you. Any more? Come on. Come on. Any more? No? This is getting annoying. I think what I'm going to have to do is just store some stuff temporarily. what we can what we don't need come back for it yeah like 16 of them they can be stored temporarily what else have we got that's dead every seven water there we go Is that you? No, it wasn't you. I'm using an awful lot of mines to kill you people. But I do want to get out of here alive, so yeah, I am doing. Here's one I prepared earlier. Yeah, any more? I know there was one, at least I saw you. Come on, where are you? I know you're out there. Fine, I'll come and get you. Great. They didn't come in, they started there. Any more surprise people? Oh yeah, there's one. Woo! Oh yes, um right. What to do, what to do? Medicine party. Yeah, uh, any weapons? 
Yeah, you can stay ahead. Makes speech a little better. But what else do we need? Might make barter a bit better too. Although really. Add that. Should I? No, I mean, not overly charming, am I? Right. Bring that down a bit. It's coin we need. Coin, coin, coin. Put one in there, why not? That'll do. No. Yeah, it's odd that. Right, ammunition. Ooh, what shall we go for? What can we get? Ooh. Interesting. Table or chair? Table or chair. How many of those are going to be around? More sneak with 101 suits. Hmm. Not a morning person. Maximum. Okay. Interesting. Ah. Very interesting fish boy. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, there's quite a few good ones that I wish to try. I wish to have. But. Fish Boy seems interesting. Early training. I really do want my power armor, but I don't want to overkill the game right at the beginning of it. So. I'm thinking. Swift reflexes. Yeah, stay in bullet time a bit longer and slow it down even more. Oh yeah, that's going to be quite interesting. There's one. Oh yes, I'm going to enjoy this. This one. Any others? Any more? No? Anybody else? I'm here. Come on. No? Well, that was long and complicated for no reason. You know, I'm going to run around the corner now and get my head blown off. Yeah. Yeah, give me that. Pointless. Didn't even come in that door. Although, having said that, I wasn't even expecting you. I was expecting your mates to circle around when I started slaughtering them all. So, yes, Myra. The answer is, there is definitely... Food and medicine in a supermarket. But mostly because that's where the raiders live and they store it all for themselves. So yeah. I think we shall uh, I think we shall have a little fade to black while I loot the hell out of the place. 
and strip all these nasty raiders of their claws. See you in a minute, people. Alright. They're looted and we're suited and booted. And, uh, Meet my trusty canine. I'm going back to get paid. So, uh, yeah. Oh, it'd be nice once we've leveled up a bit, dog meat, and we don't uh, need to loot everything in sight. No more traps, trips to and back to Megaton, boring the lovely viewers to death with it. That's why we have these wonderful things called, you know it, Fade to Black. So here we are back in Megaton. We've, uh, well, we've uh, repaired everything that we could, sold it to Myra, Jump and we're just about. Is my business. Excuse me, I'm trying to do my intro. Well, my middle of the game intro. I've already uh, recorded a bit. But uh, yeah, we was going to uh, let Myra know we've been to the Super Duper Mart. Maybe I'll let her know that I just sold half of the stuff that I bought from there. How's the field research going? Oh, it's going great. Bought a lot of stuff. And by bought, I mean people paid with their lives for it. How's it going out there in the wastes? Uh, yeah, I've been to the Super Duper Mart and, well, I've already sold it, you believe it or not. So, how's the scaving been? Got the food and medicine from that Super Duper Mart? Yep. I got it. It wasn't easy, believe me. Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Right. <clears throat> yeah. The raiders have, uh, you know, they saw it as a good place to set up camp and store their own stuff. So it was a good source of pharmaceuticals and food, but you had to go through the raiders to get it. So you're saying that they acquired a well-protected stash? Hmm. I wonder how many other places are hiding treasures behind monsters. Hmm. I've well, already found one in the rest of station. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. Tastes kind of great after a while. Oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more... Uh, Better. <laughs> Better. Okay. So, um, that's everything from your first chapter, yeah? Yep, you've done a great job. I just need to add in the section on how to cook rat, and this chapter's done. Yeah. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Ooh, of course, ooh. you may need them. Oh, I, oh yes, I do. Two more chapters to go. Yay. Go on, what's your next chapter? The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? <sighs> uh. Yeah... This sounds like I could, something I could do myself. I mean, I could just hit myself in the leg with a stick if needs be, but what do you mean by handling injury? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So Thanks. if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. I'll Next try. time you get badly injured... Return here, so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Yeah. What, yeah, what is, you know, how much are you going to pay me? What's this going to be worth? Did you know when bones break and reheal, they grow back tougher? I did. In a way, you'd be repaying yourself. Once I make sure you survive, of course. But in a more tangible way, I can give you a modified environmental suit of mine. How's that sound? Fine, I'll go and self-harm just for you. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. 
when you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. I will, I will. See you later. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Well, this is going to be easy. Dog meat. It's raining. All I literally have to do is jump off this walkway. But not too high. Probably I'll land on my head. Why am I now over encumbered? She, what she give me? How many stim packs did she give me? Oh, she gave me a few. Nice. Right. Oh, it's that food sanitizer, I bet, isn't it? I bet that's what it bloody is. Where's it gone? But yeah, that's what's overloaded me. Fine. Let's have some food. And some beer. There you go. Artificially increase my strength through stupidity. Yay to the rain. Right. Now dog mate. I'm hoping this works. How much did it? No. Bit higher. Bit higher. You better pay me well for this. This radiation suits better really be worth it. Worth it. Ugh. Too high. Hmm, suicide isn't painless after all. Right. That didn't work, dog mate. How am I going to do this? Got to be a way of doing this without going too high. Don't want to land on that pipe. No. No? Okay. You know me say something witty every now and then. Never mind. Just annoy me, aren't you, on purpose? Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, come on. I need to cripple my legs. Come on. I'm gonna hate myself for this one. There we go. See, dog mate. I knew I could do it. The amount of times I've healed my own legs. Moira. Well, how do you feel? Uh, yeah, this... This hurts. <laughs> oh, I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Yeah, get well, on with it. How would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. All right. Um, yeah. Stay focused and you won't feel it. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? Oh, I try. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. 
Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Ugh, how can you be walking around like this? With legs. Okay, I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, Thanks. take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. Thanks. Right. Go on, what's next? There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. There's a lot we don't know about Meyer Lurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Um, I've not got Murphy with me, so I'll go for the mole rats, because I think I can kill them easier than my lurks. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. That's nice. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. Right. All right. I don't know what's in these chemicals. How much are you paying for this one? Don't worry about the chemicals. I handled them all the time while experimenting. And I'm perfectly fine. Aren't I? How That's about I let you have the suggestion. leftover chems I used to make it? Heck, do a thorough job and maybe I'll let you keep the repellent itself. Go on then. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Well, downtown I thought town town was a uh Come back soon. Yeah, I thought downtown was the wall zone. Well, it's on the edge of town. I'm not going much further in than that until I know I'm ready. <sighs> right. Dog mate, we're going to uh, leave some stuff behind, I think, first. What we need is... Do I have all the stuff I need to make my ammo press? That is a good question. Uh, I think I have. Let's do that. And come back to the viewers in a second. Right, dog meat, we're done. Hey there. But, a, but a storm isn't. Hi. I think it's time to go to the sewers. Morning. Huh? Well, afternoon. Hi, world. It's in this direction, isn't it? Dog mate? Yeah. I want your keen Scooby senses to uh, keep a smell out, farmer. That's out of that direction, according to the pit boy. Yeah, I can't jump down, we'll kind of get injured. Uh, Whoa, hello. Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. What, the rats? Is that what you're on about? Yeah, uh, yeah, calm down. What's going on? No, those things will get me. I can't. I gotta keep going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you on about? Uh, yeah. Hey, come on, kid. I mean... I've survived so far, sure, maybe I can help you out here. 
You look stronger than all the other grown-ups. Can you... Can you protect me? Right. Go on. Tell me what's going on, and then I can sort of figure out what to do. Those big things. They're all over Great Itch. And they killed everyone. Please, mister. Please find my papa. Yeah. Okay. okay. What's attacking Great Itch? Well, they're big, ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got Ants. huge teeth and skitter around grabbing everything in their path. My ants. papa would always say they're fucking ants. Well, that's what he used to call them anyway. I yeah, just call them fire ants. You just need the ant bit. So... Yeah, how long have they been around? Nah, those things started coming around only in the last few months. At first, they just crawled around outside our town. But later, they came into town. And, well, you know the rest. Okay, let me ask you something else, kid. Alright. What is it? Where's your house? Look for the house nearest to the billboard. That's sticking out of the ground. It's pretty close to the diner. You can't miss it. Billboard, diner, house, right. Yeah. Uh, and what what happened? It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to D.C. There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. Right. Who else lived in Grey Ditch then if they took them? Um, besides me and my papa, there was Doc Lesko who stayed with us, and Will Brandis and his mama and papa too. I guess they're all gone now. Uh, did you know them very well? Eh? Nah. People don't like to stay long in Grey Ditch. The DC ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. In I've fact, heard. Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. Okay. Um, yeah. Back to what we were talking about. Alright. What is it? I, uh, I'll have a look for him. Yeah? You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign in the old diner. Please. Find my Papa and make him come back. Yeah. Um, yeah, where are you going to go? Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. But I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back. Alright. What is that on your, your hip? Those. Wait for me. I'm my dog. You don't exactly know where you're going. Whoa. Well hidden, kid. Welcome to Greydish. That's oh, so, okay. He he lives here, does he? There's the diner. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'd... I mean. Marva's going to pay me if I deal with the rats. But I'm going to feel a bit of an asshole if uh, I leave this kid to struggle on his own. Because, after all, I know what it's like when you lose your father. Granted, there's a good chance mine's still alive, but he's gone missing. Yeah. I think I'll do my good deed for the day.